Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Shabina Fatma. Today we are going to discuss about identification of semen stain. In various types of crime cases, in sexual assault cases, one can get semen stains on the fabric. So, uh, what we have to do, the portion of the fabric belong to the stain is cut, dried in shed, and uh, to avoid the putrefaction and then carefully preserve so that one can do various types of tests in the laboratory so there are various physical examination means one can one can observe whether it is a semen stain or not by simply observing under the uv light if it is a semen stain then it flores and the color is bluish white color other stains also flores but the color of it is bluish white color there are various chemical tests one can conduct to analyze it like acid phosphatase test florence test barberios test creatine phosphokinase test acid phosphatase test it is a very important uh, forensic it is very important test from forensic point of view because high concentration of acid phosphatase acid phosphatase is enzyme because is is in the end so it is enzyme and the high concentration of uh, acid phosphatase is present in the semen of human being and monkey so it is a very valuable screening test and acid phosphatase it is secreted by prostate gland and it belongs to phosphatase family obviously and its optimal activity is at acidic pH and the acid phosphatase one can keep it at minus 20 degrees Celsius for one year but its life is reduced if it is kept at in wet environment and if there is an elevated level of AP in, in a male, then it is a diagnostic, it is a diagnosis of prostatic cancer. Then there are various other antigen found in semen and you can go for its test like, uh, like PSA, prostate specific enzyme. PSA it is a protein and its molecular weight is 30 kilo Dalton so it is also known as P30 it is a way it is a major protein found in seminal fluid and it is secreted by prostate epithelium and it goes into seminal fluid but what happened ki if you go for uh, identification of semen stain and if you test PSA PSA is also secreted by sweat gland, perianal gland, mammary gland, paraurethral gland. These are also some of the glands which secrete PSA. So the chances that whether it is semen stain or not, it is of little bit, means its value is little bit decreased. Ki whether it is semen or not, uh, if, you, uh, if you detect PSA, because it is also found in urine, fecal, sweat, but again the same concept is there if there is an elevated amount of PSA it means he is suffering from prostate cancer and it is hydrolytic enzyme P30 is a hydrolytic enzyme next the next is a, there is a technique called SVSA seminal vesicle specific antigen it is responsible for making coagulum and this SVSA it is specific to reproductive system it is specific so if you test this antigen then it can be a good test for the identification of semen SG this compound is also found in the skeletal muscles in kidney and colon but in sexual assault cases investigation cannot go and uh, collect the uh, 
skin collect the muscles from the kidney and colon it is of no use so it is a good test there are various other test there are various other chemical test for uh, uh, for the detection like florence test in florence test what happened a drop of watery solution of stain is placed on a glass slide you you just take a glass slide put a wa put a watery solution of a stain on it and then dry it a drop of florence reagent is added to it if it gives dark brown crystals and it looks like hemin crystals only so it is a clear cut solution uh, it is a clear cut indication that it is the semen strand it gi it gives crystal because of the formation of choline peroxide because what happened the florence reagent it consists of potassium iodide and iodine in water so when it reacts with the stain it gives choline peroxide another test is barberio's test upon presence of spermin in semen means it detects the presence of spermin in semen barberio's test then you can also go for microscopic uh, identification microscopic identification you can simply uh, you can simply observe it under a microscope there are various other techniques like electrophoretic methods you can also go for electrophoretic methods there are various other methods uh, there is one there is one method which you can use you uh, you can also wear uh, orange goggles and you can observe the semen stains uh, using argon laser you can use acid phosphatase technique you can go for another technique you can do you can do staining because you cannot simply see it under microscope it is not going uh, to it is not going to give any kind of result without staining so you should stain it using christmas tree stain you can also do one thing just uh, just take a stain just take a sample and then add alpha naphthyl phosphate and fast blue b to it if it gives papa color within 30 seconds it is a clear cut indication that it is a semen stain and in this technique the alpha naphthyl phosphate it acts as a substrate it breaks down phosphate you can also go for gel electrophoresis so there were, there is also one important method which is known as fluorometric method it is also very sensitive and it is used for semen mapping in this what happen if there is a cloth and the semen stain is there just press a filter paper just press a wet filter paper on it then the stain will then the sample will come in contact with the filter paper and then examine it under Uh, dark room and spray it with mup reagent that is methyl amphaliferone phosphate if there is semen stain then it will give fluorescence this is also one of the method then you can also microscopic examination then there is also a, uh, the technique called sperm highlighter it is a fluorescent staining technique then there is another technique which is called lcm what is it laser capture micro dissection in this technique what happen if there is a slide and it is of semen uh, slide then there is a lcp cap means laser capture micro dissection cap and the polymer is attached to it the polymer melts and adheres to the sample then you can simply remove the sample because the polymer just adhere to your sample adhere to semen sample then you can simply remove the sample from that slide and then you can further analyze it you can further put your sample in another test tube or anything and you can further go for dna analysis or anything whatever you want to do 
there are also another uh, there are also various other techniques for its identification based on identification of PSA like immunochromatographic assay ABA card technique there are so many techniques if PSA is present then antibody will definitely bind to it so there are lots of techniques you can go for it there is no problem in immunoassay what uh, in immunoassay what happened there are two zones like in case of covid there uh, in case of covid when we go for testing they give they give you result whether you are covid positive or negative on the basis of what there is a there is a big stripe like thing and there are two zones one is called control zone another one is uh, test zone in control zone what happen there is always a binding reaction antibody against antibody but in case of test zone if if PSA is only present then then the binding will occur otherwise no binding so friends these are some of the techniques for cement detection Basically, acid phosphatase is one of the best method for because high concentration of acid phosphatase is present in the semen of human being and monkey, and it is a very valuable test. Microscopic identification is also one of the best technique after staining it with Christmas tree stain. So these are some of the techniques for its identification. Friends, if you like the video, then please do like, share, comment, subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Jai Hind.